Hey, welcome back. We are looking at the 57 Chevy wagon, the Bel Air model. Um, today, I'm going to go through a little bit of the heat heating system and uh, show you the work that has been done to that. Um, so far, so on the 57 Chevy, this has the deluxe heater. And right here, we're looking at the firewall. This here is the, is the uh, air plenum that goes, hooks to the firewall. Um, let's see if I can get up here. It attaches with these slides right here. One here, one here. You can usually knock them up with a small, a small, um, screwdriver and small hammer and then that box will slide out of there the plenum will slide out of there right behind there as you can see the the hose outlets is the heater core so i have already taken that plenum off i have replaced the heater core with a new heater core um, there's a gasket that goes between the firewall and the plenum so that's good to order that uh, this connects to the blower motor by a rubber gasket as you can see right there it's just a rubber sleeve that goes that bridges the gap between the two here is the blower motor now the blower motor is switched off um, on and off uh, via a a resistor on top of the um, air defroster inside the car there's a that's where it connects in here you can see the the let's see if we can get the light down here so you can see it better so down in here is where the the blower motor connects to the fresh air vent now on the 57, there are two tubes in the in there. There's a one on the driver's side and one on the passenger side. Um, those two fresh air tubes uh, go straight to the headlight headlight buckets, and this one here is is diverted into the blower motor, and there is a flapper valve inside the heating tube or I mean in the fresh air tube which will either turn on the flapper and let the air flow to the blower motor and go through the heater core into the car or it will go straight into the floorboard where the vents come out uh, fresh air vents come out at the at the foot underneath the uh, dash there's two vents one on the passenger one on the driver's side that is cape those uh, vents are cable controlled and here's another thing that I had to do on this car the cables were frozen on this car um, let's see if I can get over here and show you all so under here you can see it better than the other side so there's one of the cables that controls the that controls the fresh air um, a lot of times these will freeze up on a car and because they're 60 years old anyway the fresh air vents there's one of them on the passenger side and I don't know if you can see it on the driver's side uh, this here is the glove box area that's where the heater control system vent ventilation switches go so you got four cables on this car you see one of the cables hanging down there that's for the vent tube on the driver's side the fresh air tube this one here as you can see this goes up to the fresh air tube on the driver's or the passenger side they connect into the fresh air box or the cable control here's I have two of these uh, Del deluxe cable control boxes here 
Um, I picked this one up at a swap meet because the the, the, the uh, switches themselves are much nicer than the original here. Um, however, I, I put one of the cables on the control box to show you how it works. When you uh, slide that switch down, if you can see that action pulling out the cable, pushing it in. On this car, to turn the defroster on, you push it down. Um, you see the leftmost control there is for the driver's air vent. Then you have the control, the next control moving to the right is the heat control valve. Then there's your defroster control, opens and closes the defroster vent. And then the other, the last vent is your inside versus outside air. That closes the, um, that closes the vent like I was talking about before, that fresh air vent, it'll close it off to the fresh air tube and divert air through the um, heater core. Now, I put one of these reproduction cables on here. These are very, very nice, by the way. You can only buy them in a set, and I recommend buying them in a set. Here's the original cables, um, frozen. Um, they're, they're pretty much bad, gone. I replaced, I'm going to replace all of them. I haven't yet finished the last two. But here, you'll notice one thing when you buy your reproduction cables is that um, the larger uh, coiled end goes on the control switches. But when you buy the new cables, they, ha they have uh, multiple coils on each end. Not like the originals. The originals, and I'm talking for the two outside vents, have a much smaller coil. There's only two coils there compared to the multiple coils. So, in those, you know you're putting them on right if, if the smaller coils, um, they go towards the, um, they go on the inner fenders up here and hook to the flapper valves. Um, this here is one of the clips, special clips that you need to use to attach the end of the cable to the flapper valve control that lets the fresh air in and out. Um, you can see how how, uh, how narrow that is. Uh, that will only fit on the narrow side of the cable. And then what you wind up doing is you, you wind up fitting that on there and you push it down over top of the, the flapper. I don't know if you can focus and see that. And then you slide that and to um, cinch it down. So this goes over top of the rod on top of the flapper valve, and then this slides over. Um, if you're replacing these, I suggest you buy new ones of these clips. They're kind of pricey, but you'll wind up breaking the old ones, taking them off. Um, and because the new cables come with a multiple coil, you're gonna have to take your wire cutters and trim those so that they will fit that the the clip will fit on the end you see here how there's too many coils there so when you get to working on your fresh air vents that's the only place where you're going to have to cut those down is on the ends that connect um to your um your vents your vent flappers on both sides there if that makes any sense um we we're talking about the heater control valve so Here's an original heater control valve off the uh, 57 here. So one of the cables, this cable right here that hooks up to this one, when you push it down, it actually t opens this valve up on here. So there's a um, there's a lever here where the you see where the cable attaches there. The cable holds right here, and you can open and shut this valve in here. So what that does is allows the coolant to circulate through the heater core. So if you wanted to um, 
not use the not use the heater and you wanted to you know use let the air come in through there for some reason and not warm up the car as much or maybe it was too hot you can turn you can turn the the heat down essentially by by changing by moving the switch and it will open and close this valve and allow the allow the coolant to pass through here because the coolant comes in comes in here from the water neck on the on the uh, manifold and then comes out and goes into the heater core so if you turn this off it stops the flow there your heater core is going to remain cool and you won't have any heat in the car at that time now there was a probe on here they call it um i forget what they call it it looked like a temperature probe that actually attached right here on the heater control um, apparently they do work and if you're a purist and want a full proper restoration you will put that back on um, mine broke off when I was pulling it out putting pulling the heater control valve out so I did not put it back on but um, anyway what I'm gonna finish doing later is control is put the is put the control box back into the car hook the cables up here to each one of the different levers uh, the cables go through here you tighten down these holds and then you can you know control your your vents open them and close them as as you need so these you see i bought a complete new set uh, one other thing too is to notice is that these on the end where your control switches are these look like they could come off and they really could if your cables bind at all there's a there's a little um round shaped uh disc that goes on here that meant to hold that cable on there you should probably buy those too if you're going to uh, redo your cable system so there's another another tip that i would recommend um and also if you're going to redo your heater system and change your core support out and all that get a gasket kit like i did so this is i had an extra one but you see this one here goes behind the control valve there's there was a foam gasket that went behind the heater core and then or behind the plenum and then there's another seal between the blower motor and the blower motor fan housing um, if you have any questions about the control system leave a comment down below and I will try to help you. Um, this is my first time working on the system, and I think I've got a decent understanding of this system. And um, I plan on doing putting everything back together pretty soon. And I will actually show you how how it works afterwards if I can make another video. Thank you.